Spikes RT blog date, June 9th, 2011. Okay. I really wanted to bring this to you. I know this is not really furry related, but this guy has appeared on the uh, furry paw, paw pet show, the, fur, the fun day paw pet show. Uh, I was watching America's Got Talent, and guess who shows up? Tron Guy. Um, he actually appeared on, um, like I said, the paw pet show, and one of my friends uh, appeared with him. So what does Tron Guy do? He decides to... to Hello, programs, uh, and blah, 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 all that stuff. Now, I like Tron Guy, but um, he got buzzed out and um, didn't pass auditions. But, uh, um, yeah, I like him, but something like that is not going to not gonna win it. Because they're looking for talent. That, that's not really talent. Um, so, that, that's something I wanted to pass on to you, because... Um, yeah, some of you may know them. All right, what else we got? The website uh, So Furry it has now reached uh, how many was it? One hundred fifty thousand users. So uh, yeah, here's what So Furry is. Um, it used to be called EF Star back in two thousand two, and then it got a um, a remake. It took a year and a half, and it was relaunched as SoFurry back on December 26, 2009. It kept the adult stories and the art, but it added non-adult categories as well as extended forums. And um, they have started to make 2.0 uh, uh, back in April of 2010. Now, um, according to um, uh, a report here from furry news network uh, the new design is clean less visibly noisy and more standards compliant so the this should uh, be better looking for all of you their current plans include a light on dark scheme for, for those reading the site in the dark as well as a, a high contrast scheme for the site impaired and the uh, there was a beta release on this, and it was deemed successful. All right, so but 150,000 users, that that is a lot. And um, and I can't even estimate how many furries are out there in the world. The hundred um, but the, that that's got to be one of the the biggest sites. So. On there. I, I don't even know how many Fur Affinity has. Uh, so that's quite an accomplish, accomplishment for them. Let's see. What else do we need? Okay, so there is this magazine. It's called Mate Magazine. It, it is an international gay male culture magazine that is produced in Berlin and the Netherlands. And... They, they made a hip international summer party list. And guess what they included in there? Anthrocon! The biggest fur con in the world. And, and the... Uh, I got the... The art... The full article here. It, it's... It, as a matter of fact, it's posted on Fur Affinity. The, the whole article. I, I will post it um, in the video when it's up. But uh, the, this is, I don't know what to say about this. Uh, yeah, here's what some of the, here, here's what some of the articles said. It says, quote, among the various fetish events this spring, the most striking by far is Anthrocon, the world's largest convention for anthropomorphic people, or in simple words, those who like to dress up as furry animals. Although not a sex convention, workshops in acting and costume making are included. There is controversy in the furry community about the status of sexuality. Because it is a huge subgenre on amateur porn videos and has a huge gay following. According to Wikipedia, almost half of furry people are gay. Anthrocon 
always includes a dance party of which great footage can be seen on YouTube. Now, off the bat, I see some inaccuracies on this article. For one thing, this does not take place in the spring. It takes place in the summer, June. And, and um, as for your um, definition of anthropomorphic people, or furries, those who like to dress up in furry animals, that's, that's just part of it. The more accurate definition would be uh, people that are fans of anthropomorphic art. Anthropomorphic animals, I should say. Uh, but uh, the definition gets thrown around kind of a lot. And although not a sex convention, I will give them that it is not. And controversy in the fur community about the sounds. There is definitely controversy on this because I get a lot of crap from both sides. People that that say that whatever they like, and people that say, "Oh, get rid of it!" Ew, ew, ew. Now, so 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 this article is half right, half wrong. So, uh, but I want you to see this for yourself. I will, I will post it on here and have you look at it. But to have it um, listed as a, a summer party for a gay at magazine, I don't like that. Um, also, reality TV is coming after us again. Because now there is a show on the National Geographic channel called Taboo. And they've been filming in the, um, the Waterloo area of Ontario, Canada. Um, a, fursuit, uh, going, a fursuiter going by, by the moniker Samurai Smurfette has, has been on Reddit recounting her experience with, with the production crew. Um, this is a documentary style show, but, um, as we all know, they've been known to, to edit, edit the, the video so it looks like it's something that you're not. And that's why we have been so careful with the media these days. Yeah, uh, in, in a comment thread, um, Samurai Surf Smurfette indicates that the film crew may be trying to get permission to film at Anthrocon later this month. But she also stated they're trying to get permission, but if they can't, they're going to set up a few blocks right away and see what they can get. So, um, I hope Uncle Kage is, is getting is getting this. Uh, he's the chairman of Anthrocon. Um, so, um, the, this could be... Um, some bad news for us if this indeed is a bad show. And um, seeing the the title of the show, I don't like it. Uh, I would rather that they would not be there because it this just just sounds like bad news. Because the back um you remember on uh, My Strange Addiction uh, when uh, it's been a while, I forgot her name now. Um, but then you remember when the first was, was was like, "This is not this is not an addiction; it's a hobby." And said, "Well, we're going to film it anyway." So yeah, see, see how that turned out. So I don't think they should be there, and and seeing that they're going to be, they might be filming a flu a few blocks away. I really don't like how that's going to turn out. Uh, let's see. And finally, and oh my god, I really hope this does not happen, but I have to give you all a heads up. I do not know if this is going to happen, but I hope it doesn't. Uh, it's come to my attention that uh, users on Congregate, which is a gaming website, um, as planned to try to get Westboro Baptist Church to 
protest outside of furry convention. I do not know if this is true or not, but I'd rather give you a heads up than, than let it wait for it to happen. Um, this, uh, if this happens, um, this, this would definitely get, uh, the furries riled up, and, um, and, uh, this will definitely throw us into, um, the media, um, because Westboro tends to get into the media quite a lot. Uh, so... So, uh, for those of you who don't know who Westboro Baptist Church is, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you know that they're a so-called independent Baptist church um, who is known to protest against uh, homosexuality, which includes picketing, funerals, and desecrating the American flag. And uh, they're headed by this guy named Fred Phelps. But... Um, they have been actively involved in the anti-gay movement since 1991. And, uh, they're not affiliated with any known Baptist conventions or associations. But uh, um, I'd rather to give you a heads up on this uh, than just let this happen. But I, I cannot confirm if this is going to happen or not. So, um, to, uh, so just a little heads up for all of you. Okay, that is it for me for tonight. Uh, Spike Pat blogging out.